Hello, um, today we're going to look at drawing a title plan as I have here that as you can see has some curves to it, some um, arcs and you know it can be a little bit confusing and difficult for people um, especially if you've never seen it before. Um, I've noticed that they don't teach us a lot at schools, um, certain schools maybe, um, which is you know really bad. I mean something that you kind of need to do. So. What we have here with this arc, we have three different pieces of information to help us draw um, the title boundary. So R is to do with the radius of this particular arc. Um, the A is the actual arc length. So that, you know, if you measured it with a, you know, if you did this on the ground, for instance, you could measure that, it would be 4.79. Uh, this is in meters, um, so 4.79 meters. And now C, C, often people don't know what that is. They think it's circumference, but it's not. So uh, the C stands for chord. Sometimes it's seen as uh, a CH on the plan, but it means chord. And what the chord is, so it's 4.31 meters, it would be from that little notch there to that little notch there. If we drew a straight line across there, that would be the chord. And that's very important because we, we need to do that to, um, to get you know this arc exactly as we need it to be. And so the C is 4.31 meters, and this here is the bearing. So just like anything else on a title plan, uh, if you've seen my other title plan, so that's the angle of the line. So in this case, it's you know, 231 degrees, 53 minutes. So let's have a look at um, trying to draw this. Um, one way you can do a title plan sometimes is to break it up into sections too, just do one bit at a time and then just sort of stick them all together. You know, so let's go and have a look at our drawing. I'm just going to open up uh, this and move it onto my other screen so it's uh, got a, a reference. Okay, so the very first thing we had was, uh, oh, we'll draw the chord, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start the line command and we'll click anywhere on the screen. Now the first thing we need to do to get the angle is we type at the at symbol, so hold down shift and press the two key. And then we want to go, uh, was it four, three, one, zero. Now I'm doing this in millimeters, so if it was meters it would just be 4.31, but I'm doing this in millimeters, so it's four, three, one, zero. Then we put the uh, was it less than or greater than symbol I can never remember, and then we put in the degrees. So it was two hundred thirty-one, and we put a D for degrees, and then fifty-three. Oh, ah, two of those things. Right, I'm having trouble here with my keyboard. Uh, I've had this problem before. Okay, so anyway, we press enter after that, and we've got our line. Okay. I'm going to bring this back to the screen here. So, as I was talking about, that's the that's the line we're looking at, and you can sort of see it's sort of the angle that I was talking about. Okay, so we did that. The 231 degrees, 53 minutes. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw a circle with a radius of 3050. Well, it's 3.05 in meters, but I'm going to do this in millimeters, so it's 3050. So circle command, I'll type C, Let's do that again. So C, press enter, uh, click anywhere on the screen, it doesn't really matter. And then we want to type R for radius. And then we'll put 3050. Okay, so there we have the radius. Now what we want to do, I generally just draw a line straight through this thing. Okay, so let's do the line command. Then we'll use the trim command TR. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to get, we have the right um, radius, but we want to get the right length of this arc. So if I select that, and I've got my property window over here, um, you can see that the arc length is currently 8535. So that's too long. So what I generally use is the lengthen command. So I type lengthen, so L-E-N-G-T-H-E-N, -E -E press enter. And now I want to type T for total, because it's the total length I'm going to want it to be. 
and now it's going to ask me um, to specify the length. So as you, we'll type in 4790, uh, because that was the arc length. We'll press enter. And then we'll select the object. And now we have the correct arc. Okay. So I've selected on that, got the properties window there. You can see it's four, the arc length is 4790. That's what we want. Okay. So let's bring back that thing. There we go. So as you can see, that's the sort of arc that we wanted. Um, what we need to do now is move it into position. So select the arc. Now I left click on the blue grip so it's red. And now I'm going to press the space bar. And I'm going to move it. Okay. You can use the move command as well if you wanted to. So, you know, I'll put it back to where it was. This is just my preference. So, so you also move it using the move command. So you can just type M, select the object, and pick the point where you want to go. Okay. Now we want to rotate it. So this, in this case, we want to yeah, select the object, select the blue uh, grip so it's red. We'll press enter and we'll press enter again. And then we'll t we're on the rotate command now. So we'll type R for reference. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pick the first point and the second point. So that's telling us, telling it that's what the you know current angle is. And now it's going to ask us for you know, where we want to go. So I'm just going to click on here and there we go. We, we've, we've created the, the arc, um, for that, you know, where it has, it should be. Okay. So we'll draw in a little few other bits here. So we've got a line here. Um, so 17, one, six, zero. Okay. So I draw a line, do the at command. Just gonna open that back up actually in my other window for a moment. And we're gonna type in 17160. Use a little plus sensible. And we'll put 276D and then 53. And oh, it's doing two again. And then press enter. Okay, so there's our line. Let's select that, move it over here. Alright. So you know, sort of looking, you know, a little bit like as it should be. You know, we're in the, you know, those uh, those uh, coordinates are correct. So now we've got the one up here, which is uh, twenty one four six zero length, okay, and one eighty six degrees fifty three minutes. So I'm going to draw that as a separate line as well. I'm just going to open that again, just move that to my other window. So I'm going to line. I'll click somewhere, type at, and write 21460, then the sound symbol 186D53 minutes. All right, and then I can just move that into place. So, as I said, you can, you can do a title plan in pieces like I'm doing. Okay, and um, now up here we have, again, we have, um, this one's a little bit more difficult, but see how it's just double curves there. But um, let's have let's have a look at that. Okay, so we've got the chord again. So we need that. We need the chord so we get the correct um, direction. So let's type the chord in. So the, the length of the chord is 14.75 meters. Okay, and that's the angle that the chord should be 152 degrees 37. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So move that to my next window. So type line and just uh, click, well, click on here, doesn't matter. And we'll type at, we're going to type 14750. So the uh, sensible 152 degrees, 37 minutes. And oh, it's gone the other way, but yeah. all right. So let's move that to there. So that's the chord where the direction we want to go. And we'll come back, and as you can see, the radius is 13.11 meters. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a circle. So I'm going to type C. Press anywhere on the screen. And then I'm going to type R. And then I'm going to tell it the radius I want it to be is 13.110. Okay. And again, I said I just, I just trim this to, to wherever. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to trim. So TR and then enter and then just trim. 
All right, so we've got the radius, now we want to get the arc length. Again, we're going to type lengthen, and we're going to type T for total, and we want it to be a total of 15, 6, 7, 0. And we'll click on the uh, um, circle or the arc. Okay, so that's that's it. So I'm going to move that. So M for move. Move down there. And then rotate. So I'm going to select the... Let's make sure I've got it on there. Uh, I'm going to select the grip. Make it blue, uh, the blue to a red grip. And I'm going to press uh, the spacebar or enter to scroll through. Then type R when I'm on the rotate for reference. So then we click here, and then we pick here, and then we pick here. Okay, and I can I can delete those chords if I want to. I mean they're just there for reference really. So, and let's go back to our title plan. All right. So the next one we have is a again the chord. So it is uh, three point eight nine. So I'm going to just move it up screen for a moment. I'm going to type L, um, alpha line anywhere on the screen I'm going to type at and I'll type 3890 uh, less sensible and then uh, what is it uh, 136 degrees 58 minutes and then I can move the chord to here right. and then we go back we've got a radius of 6.1 meters so again we'll do a circle pick anywhere we'll type r for radius and it's going to be 6100 zero, zero. okay um that looks quite large but okay and i'll just trim that so we'll just trim trim it off i'll delete that line now we're going to type lengthen again so type lengthen, press enter, T for total, enter, and we want to specify the length, which was uh, 3960, and I'll select the object. Okay, and there it is, that's the arc. So let's move that there, make the grip hot, press space, space, type R, and then we'll click on there, and there and that and I think I've got it around the wrong way actually I think it's supposed to flip the other way so yeah uh, it's supposed to be yeah. so what I, all I can do is I can just mirror that so um, I just the way I do it is I just generally select the object select the grip press space press space press space press space type R um, oops actually I don't need to do that with mirror so I can just I'll undo that I made a mistake there Let's just try the normal mirror command. So it's uh, MI. Select the object. Uh, first point and second point. And it says, would you like to erase? Yeah, okay. I'll bugger that up as well. I'll just go back to the way I normally do it. So I'll select the object, press the grip, scroll through to um, mirror, and then I can just do that. And if I delete these chords, you can see the you can see the angle there how it's worked okay and then um yeah then you can go around and do the rest of your straight lines um i don't think i need to show you how to do that but uh definitely the curves can be quite challenging for people so i will just do one line i can move that over here i will make it look nice okay so i'll type l press anywhere or click anywhere on the screen type at and we want to go 10, 7, 1, 0. Less than 126D and 58 minutes. And um, I can just move that to there. And that's what we have. You can you can see the, the joint. That's that's how that's how it is. You know, it's a bit confusing when you're sort of at that little bit at the top there, but it's very um, very sharp sort of corner but that's um yeah that's it that's how it goes so um i hope you found this tutorial helpful if so um give it a like 
um, share it with others and subscribe um, you know I'm getting more time now to, to get back onto my videos so you know it's something I just really enjoy and I hope that when I you know produce videos that it's very helpful for others so um, yeah until the next one um, yeah I hope you enjoyed it thanks